today we are going to discuss how to update and write a data into an excel file so in my previous video i have shown you how you can read a data from an excel file if you haven't seen that i will provide the link in the description of this video you can read it and go through it once so basically this was the code which we were using to read the data from an excel file so I'll repeat again the prerequisite what we have needed in order to work with an Excel sheet by using Ruby languages a gem library file called separate sheet. If it is not installed, just install this gem file at your machine. In my previous video, I have already shown how you can check whether this gem has been already installed in your machine or not. If it is not installed, how you can install it. So we are creating a variable name called file name just to pass the path of the excel file which we are going to read and write the next step is use the separate set gem library file to open that workbook so we are passing two parameter to that one is the path of the file you can directly pass the file name here itself or if you want to follow my pattern that create a local variable and store this file name then you can do in this way also the next is we are passing read since we are going to read and write the excel file so we are passing this parameter the next step is so since a workbook can have multiple worksheets so which worksheet you are going to read so it can take parameter in a two format either you can pass the sheet name or you can pass the index value of the sheet i am going to read the sheet one so which has index value will be the zero as it start from the zero so this is the excel file which i am going to read it as i told in my previous lecture so when you are creating the excel file you need to always make sure that you are saving that excel file into 97 2000 for format so there are two records okay we are going to read this records and we are going to update the status as pass here for these two records and this is the seat one so it can have multiple seats as i told if suppose there will be multiple seats here like seat one seat two seat three seat four and which particular seat you want to read you need to pass the index value of that particular seat here the next step is what i am doing i am iterating through each record in that excel sheet the reason i am passing one here is this is again optional if you want to read the record from the first row so you need to pass it this else it will start from the beginning that header including the header of the cell So what I am planning of what I will do so I will perform one update operation and another one is write a, an excel to that so so what I will do I will multiply this I will update this cell by multiplying by 2 and here I will update the status as pass so for this what I have to do so this like when it will point to the first row so this is the index value is 2 okay so row 2 so when we are iterating it is highlighting which row you are going to pick and in that row which cell value you want to pick so we have to pick the row 2 and we need to update it to like whatever value is there we need to multiply by 2 so I am performing an operation that whatever value is available in the row 2 just update it by multiplying it by 2 and the next record is row 3 there we want to update the value as pass just keep it like this and we just want to store their pass okay 
so we need to write this one value in that we need to call this method called write then only it will write this value and where we want to write this excel file okay and this operation is to close this connection else your sheet will get corrupted so yeah we are all done let's see how it works i'll close this excel file i will my excel uh, this code file name is read excel.rb i'm gonna run this file and let's see whether it is able to perform this operation as we are expecting or not yeah it has done let's check our excel file now so now what we are expecting that the score should be multiplied by 2 and in front of that a status col column should update as pass super see we can see the record has uh, the score has been updated it has been multiplied by 2 and we have updated the column status as pass so it's working fine if you like this video please like it and subscribe my channel thank you